I wanted to do is I wanted to show you guys this crazy app. All right, so I have the good fortune. My wife bought me a Tesla for my 40th birthday. So I love my little Tesla. And one of the really neat things about the Tesla, right, is unlike other cars, my car has an API. It has an API that I can interact with. Not a developer. I could never write code to do it. But what I figured out was I was smart enough to write a power app that calls some flows that interact with all of that. So if we hit connect, hopefully this works. Every now and then I mess, I break this app and then that would be really embarrassing. Shoo! So there is Vader. So what I just did on that first screen was that was logging in with my actual um, uh, Tesla account information. And that's why I had it all uh, hidden so you couldn't see it. But uh, so this is uh, an image. This is coming back from Tesla. So based on the options that I return in the API about my car, it, it goes and fetches the right uh, image up there to be the uh, the options from the car. So and then this is it's asking the car, all right, how many miles do you have on you? Oh, I've driven it a lot. Uh, what's the cabin temperature currently? These are in Fahrenheit, by the way, so you don't get really weirded out. But uh, so inside the car, it's currently 69. Outside, it is 58 degrees. I did not realize it was that chilly here. Um, and if you figure, you know, so this is roughly 20 degrees Celsius, and I don't know, it was like 17, I think, uh, fair, uh, uh, Celsius. So the AC is currently on. The car is not charging, and it looks like I have 191 miles of range right now. So I made this app. Um, we won't get into too much of the other functionality here. But the reason that I made this particular app, let's close this, go over to, where did I put it? All right, well, let's just open my flows again, leave. Uh, the reason I made this app, though, was remember I told you guys I'm not a developer, and I, I'm going to continue to stand by that, but I wanted to learn how to work with APIs. And I couldn't do sample data. I don't like, I got bored too fast. I just It just wasn't one of those things that was happening. So what I did was I said, wait a minute, working on my car, right? So, yep, ran one minute ago, so this is the right flow. Working on my car is something that I'm excited about. So what I did was I learned to interact with the APIs of the, um, the Tesla, uh, and that was how I learned to do the API stuff for SharePoint and for Project and for all the other customer Google Map APIs. I needed a project that made sense to me. And so basically all I had to do is send a request, right, a get to this uh, Tesla Motors API, vehicles is my particular car, and then uh, the authorization was this auth token up here, I think, yeah. Um, so all this uh, particular one does is goes out and gets the data of the car. So this gets all of the API data. So, you know, are the doors locked, the charging state, the, the how many wheels does it have, what color it is, all of the, everything that Tesla knows about my car, I get back in this one chunk. And this, um, and I just had to, you know, figure out how to send over the bearer, the authorization token. So not one I want to get into the, the, you know, the dirty details with you too much. Um, but I wanted you to kind of see this because this is a great example of an app that helped me learn a bunch of things that I couldn't find a way to get myself to want to learn, you know. And for example, the cabin temp. They store that in Celsius, oh, and so I had to remember how, you know, my fifth grade math and how to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit because I wanted to see Fahrenheit. Um, I also, you know, a lot of these you're like, well, there's already a Tesla app that does all this. That's true, uh, right? So there, my Tesla app does all of these things, but one of the things that I never fully finished, but I wanted to add the functionality around um, scheduling a start. So this uses that delay action that somebody asked about earlier, right? So I want to be able to go in here and say, all right, I'm playing golf right now, and I know in three hours I want the AC to kick on so that in three and a half hours when my round of golf is done, I can, uh, I'll can i jump into a nice cool car. So I the way this is set up is I can just type in a time and schedule a start, and so then Flo would go out there and wait until that time and then send over the, uh, the command for, you know, turn on the AC so Shane gets into a nice cool car. So... That was kind of my thought process. The other thing that I planned to implement here was to do things like um, if the car is not plugged in, so if the charging state is not connected and it's 10.30 p.m. at night when it should be charging, then I wanted to have the, uh, I want to get, have Flo send me a message. And so a bunch of little stuff like that. But the key thing here was this was my 
app that motivated me to learn how to deal with APIs. So I encourage you guys, if you're like, hey, I want to learn APIs, I'm not a developer, I'm scared of them like I was, to go find an app that makes a lot of sense for you, that you know, that works with something that you you can geek out on. So you do don't you don't mind spending the long hours trying to figure out how to make this silly button actually start the car or this button how to unlock the car. So